Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I can create a procedural lollipop in Blender. So let's get started. First hit Shift A and add a plane. Go to geometry nodes, click on new, delete the group input and add a cylinder. Duplicate it, add a mesh boolean, this one. Now plug this one into the mesh here and this one here. Alt shift click on the node. Now set the radius here to 0.5. Add a transform node, put it here, and set the scale on the x and y to 0 0.025. Add a set shades move node, put it here, and add a set material node. Now we need a join geometry node. And let's duplicate these two. Connect the material node to the join geometry node. Now let's duplicate the join geometry node and plug that in here. Let's also duplicate the cylinder and the transform node. Make sure the radius here is set to 1. Connect the mesh to the geometry and to the geometry here. Set the scale on the X and Y to 0.65 and on the Z to 0.09. Now here set the Z to 1.5. Duplicate the transform node and set the Z here to 0.65 as well. Now plug the geometry into the joint geometry node and add an icosphere. Put that here and plug the mesh into the geometry. Set the subdivisions to 2 and add a subdivision surface node. Put it here and set the levels either to 2 or 3. Now let's save. Go to the modifiers and add a bevel modifier. Set the amount to 0.49 and the segments to 3. Now let's press Ctrl 3. Set the render to 3, select the geometry nodes modifier again, and go to the materials, click on new, and click on the plus sign, and click on new again. Go to the material nodes, for this one let's select the material, and for this one material 001. Go to shading, and let's go to the road properties, go to rendered view, I'm using cyclist. Make sure it's set to environment texture. Click on this icon here. I'm going to put a link to the HDI that I'm using in the description. Now select the material here and set the subsurface to 0.15. Go to material 001. Delete the principal PSDF and add a glass PSDF. Control shift click on it and add a bump node. Plug the normal into the normal. Set the strength to 0.05 and invert it. Add a mix RGB. Plug the color into the roughness and into the height. Duplicate the mix RGB and set the factor for this one to 0.45. Plug the color into color 1. Add a noise texture. Put it here and plug the factor into color 2. Set the scale to 500 and the detail to 15. With the node selected press Ctrl T and let's move these two nodes over here. Add a Musgrave texture. Plug the height into the factor and color 2. Set it to 40. Add a Voronoi texture. Put it here and set it to distance to edge and plug the distance into the scale and the W. Add a math node. Put it here and set the value to 25.1. Duplicate the mapping node and plug the vector into the vector of the Musgrave texture. Now let's shift and right click drag and put this here. Put the mapping node here. We also need to plug the Voronoi texture into color 1 here by the way. Add a color ramp. 
put it here and plug the color into the scale. Select the white and set it to 0 0.06. Add a mix RGB. Plug the color into the factor. Duplicate the Warner texture and plug the distance into color 1. Set the scale to 6.1. Let's move this over here. By the way, we need to use the object output. Take the object output and plug it into the vector. Add a mask wave texture. Plug the height into color 2. And plug it into the factor as well. Now let's take the vector and plug it into the object again. Duplicate this color ramp here and plug the color into the vector here. I made a small mistake here. We need to duplicate the Warner texture and for this one use 25. Plug the distance into the factor. Add a mask wave texture and set the scale to 18 and the detail to 15. Add a mix RGB and plug the height into color 2 and into the factor. Take this mapping node here and put it here and plug the vector into the vector here and here. Duplicate the Warner texture and set it to 0.9. Now plug the distance into the rotation and add an invert node. Now go to the glass based dev and select a color. I'm going to make it red. I think I'm actually going to set the strength here to 0.4. By the way, if you want these previews here, you can get the node preview add-on for the link in the description. Now let's save. Go to geometry nodes and add a plane. Click on new and add an instance on points node. Put it here. Drag this plane in here and connect it to the instance. Add a transform node. And let's set the scale to 7. Now add a subdivide mesh node. And let's set this to 3. Let's also hide this plane here and make sure it's hidden in the render as well. If you don't see this option here, Click on the drop down here and enable it. Add a combine XYZ node. Plug the vector into the rotation and add a random value. Plug the value into the Z. Now each lollipop is rotated differently on the Z axis. Duplicate the random value and set it to 0.1 and plug the value into the Y and duplicate it again and plug it into the X. Let's set the C to 1 for this one and to 2 for this one. Now let's save again and go to layout. Back in layout mode select the plane and press delete on the numpad and 1 and now press 6 on the numpad 3 times to move like this and 8 once or twice. Hit shift A and add a camera Control also to go into camera view and press G and set twice to move like this. Hit shift A and add an empty plane axis. Now go into front view again and move it up like this. And let's move it here. Go back into camera view. Now press G, shift Z with the empty selected and I'm going to put it here. Now go up here and enable depth field, select the camera, go to the object data properties and enable depth of field. Select the empty as the focus object, set the f-stop to 1 and the blades to 16. I think I'm actually going to set the f-stop to 0.7. In the render properties set the max samples to 2560 and make sure that the noise is disabled. On the film, enable transparent and go to color management and set the view transform to filmic and the look to very high contrast. Now go to the output properties and set it to JPEG or you can leave it at PNG if you want to, but I'm going to use JPEG. 
and set the quality to 100%. Now go to compositing, make sure use nodes is enabled and add an alpha over node. Put it here, plug the image into the bottom here and make it black. Save again and press F12 to render the image. So that's it with the tutorial, I hope you liked it, please let me know what to do next and I'll see you next time.